In a lot of ways, Todd Chavez feels like the forgotten BoJack Horseman character. He's a huge part of every season, but admittedly, his plot lines often end up more as comic relief than the typical drama-laden stories we see from some of our other characters. Though not always, and I don't think this is a bad thing either. Out of all characters in the show, Todd has by far the most diverse and fascinating resume, and has gotten himself into the most ridiculous shenanigans. I can barely even count the different career paths that he's somehow taken, which is actually why this might be the most fun BoJack timeline we cover. So join me as we explore the complete timeline of Todd Chavez. And if you haven't seen the others yet, this is my third timeline video on BoJack, so make sure to go check out the first two, Sarah Lynn and Beatrice Horseman. Especially check out Beatrice. Her story deserves some more love. So I mentioned just how many jobs Todd has had over the course of BoJack Horseman, and for a lot of his life, he didn't have much direction or purpose. It's too bad he didn't know about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes for creative or curious people. It's an incredible place to explore new skills or even just dive deeper into a passion you already have. So if you're tired of sleeping on your friend's couch, this is the perfect opportunity to learn some new skills. There are tons of classes no matter what your interests are. I was recently checking out Lindsay Marsh's graphic design masterclass where you can master Photoshop and Illustrator. Or if you want to learn more about what I do, you can check out these great lessons on video production like editing. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium membership so you can try it out for free and see if it's for you. There's seriously something for everyone there, so it really seems like a no-brainer. Todd was born on April 15th, 1991 in Los Angeles, California to his mother Helen and his biological father who we actually never meet in the series. As a toddler, Todd would sing and bang on his butt like bongo drums during bath time. But in 1995, when Todd was around four years old, his mother Helen married Jorge Chavez who adopted Todd. Both Todd and Helen took Jorge's last name. Though Jorge adopted Todd, Todd, he was pretty tough on him throughout his childhood, leading to a fractured relationship between the two of them. Todd did not believe that Jorge liked him, though Jorge felt that he was just preparing Todd for the difficulties that would face him in the world. Is the news that you're marrying her, inserting yourself into our family, and ruining my life? Because I already heard that news like 25 years ago. On October 31st, 2004, a 13-year-old Todd, his friend Emily, and a few other kids tried to trick or treat at Bojack Horseman's house. They were turned away by Princess Carolyn, who told them they were too young for the party and too old to be trick or treating. Todd, Emily, and their friends then TP'd Bojack's house. In 2007, at age 16, Todd was still friends with Emily, who had a pretty significant crush on Todd, and wasn't particularly careful about hiding it. Though she claimed she wasn't allowed to like anyone because her dad edits The Sopranos. The show about the guy in the mob? That's what my dad does. Whoa! Todd and Emily hung out a lot and even participated in flash mobs together. Later that same year, the two of them were paired up during a game of Seven Minutes in Heaven and made out, leading to Emily asking Todd out. The two of them became boyfriend and girlfriend. Two months after this, Emily asked Todd to have sex, to which Todd reluctantly agrees, but only moments before Emily's dad comes home. To escape, Todd shimmies out the window down a film reel of the series finale of The Sopranos. As he lands, he rips off the final section of the reel, permanently removing the final sequence of the episode. Within the next couple of years, Todd gets hopelessly addicted to the video game Decapathon. This addiction caused him to flunk out of high school, Emily dumps him, and his mother eventually kicks him out of her house. Todd didn't contact his mother or Jorge for years after he left their house. Sometimes after 2008, but likely before Halloween 2009, Todd spent an entire year on the run from the Russian Mafia. But on Halloween 2009, an 18-year-old Todd returned to Bojack's house and actually attended the Halloween party this time. During the party, Bojack got the news that his father died in a duel, and after the call, he returned to his house to see that the only person left was Todd, emotionally opening up to Todd in the process. I don't feel anything. What's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong. Just sometimes parties are over. Todd offers to stay with Bojack for a bit, and Bojack tells him to stay as long as he wants, which Todd would make good on. The following morning, Todd made Bojack hash browns, which he promptly threw up in the pool. Todd continued to live with Bojack after this, and while living there, he got into all kinds of hijinks. In 2012, Todd bought a cheap toxic waste dump and proclaimed he would use the land to build a Disneyland. In 2014, Todd got involved with a drug cartel and was forced to throw a quinceanera for the cartel's leaders, teenage daughter. Later that year, he was involved romantically with a foreign scam who tried to drain his already empty bank account. This was also when Todd finished drawing up the blueprints for his Disneyland. Todd was with Bojack when he reconnected with Sarah Lynn at Ikea and witnessed their problematic hookup firsthand, nearly getting pulled in himself. But Todd's biggest accomplishment of 2014 was writing his rock opera, Newtopia Rising, Book One, The Search for a New Utopia. With Bojack's help, Todd authored and orchestrated the entire rock opera and was even given the opportunity to perform it in front of famed rock opera producer Virgil
Rachel Van Cleef, who loved the performance. He told Todd all it needed was a third act showstopper. He asks Todd to write the final song and perform it in front of financiers to prepare for a premiere the following month. Princess Carolyn subsequently signs Todd as a client. Unfortunately, Bojack orchestrated an elaborate scheme to prevent Todd from achieving his own success and leaving him. After learning about his addiction to Decapathon, Bojack hires character actress Margot Martindale to trick Todd into buying the newly released Decapathon 7. Todd quickly becomes re-addicted and subsequently blows his performance in front of the financiers. Shortly after this, Bojack goes out of town, leaving Todd alone at his house. After Bojack's house is misattributed as David Boreana's house on a Hollywood star tour, Todd starts to showcase the house like a museum as Boreana's house, which actually sees massive success. Unfortunately, after Princess Carolyn launders the money through illegal channels, Todd lands in prison for running the illegal operation. Todd's stint in prison was also eventful. He's actually courted by two gangs at once, the Latin Kings and the Aryans, and it's torn between joining each one. Instead, he decides to try and join both in an attempt to spend equal time with both of them, which, as you might expect, went poorly. A standoff at the Supermax has turned into a full-on race war. Before he was dealt the true fallout of this decision, a helicopter crashed into the prison, leading to a full prison break and getting Todd out of jail. After his escape from prison, Todd unwittingly lands an acting gig as the mascot of Guten Bourbon. The position was meant for Bojack, but he left the set. Todd immediately became a complete diva, but still kept the role after PC gives him a get your shit together speech. You are Todd, goddamn. What's your last name? Chavez. Your last name is Chavez? Shortly after this, Todd joins Bojack and Diane on a trip to Malibu so that Bojack can see Herb Kazaz, but Todd stays with the car, trying to turn it around in Herb's driveway. Todd is then nearly robbed by the Celebrity Stealing Club, but manages to bond with the two of them, and they spend a lot of the afternoon hanging out and venting about their lives, but in the end, they still up knocking out Todd and escaping. Not long after these events, Todd learns about Bojack's rock opera sabotage, and because of this, he refuses to help Bojack try and sabotage Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter's wedding, even after Mr. Peanut Butter confides in Todd that he felt some doubts about the marriage. I don't know if I'm ready to get married again. Mr. Peanut Butter then makes Todd the executive vice president of West Coast Operations at his company, PB Livin'. Bojack is soon cast in a film by Quentin Tarantulino about how Mr. Peanut Butter heisted the Hollywood D from the Hollywood Hills, and Todd spends a lot of time on set. He actually makes a huge impression on Quentin and starts having significant creative input into the project. Eventually, the two develop the script into a bi-monthly curated box of snacks. Bojack accuses Todd of doing this to get back at him for sabotaging the rock opera, but Todd admits this wasn't his intention. After Diane's version of Bojack's book is finished, Bojack fires her and attempts to write the book himself with the help of Todd and Sarah Lynn. The three of them go on a drug-fueled writing bender, putting together a barely cohesive manuscript and hallucinating wildly at the same time. On Christmas 2014, Todd and Bojack watch a horse and around Christmas special called Sabrina's Christmas Wish together. A few months into 2015, Todd finished construction on his Disneyland. He was then promptly sued by the Walt Disney Company for obvious reasons reasons, but he miraculously won in court after discovering that Walt Disney accidentally trademarked Disneyland with two eyes instead. Unfortunately, shortly after this, Todd Disneyland caught fire and burned to the ground. Later, Todd accompanied Bojack to Herb Kazaz's funeral and subsequently went on a scavenger hunt with a cast of Horse and Around. Todd, however, gets sidetracked and discovers the prop used in Family Matters that made Steve Urkel super cool, turning him into Stefan. Despite this being just a prop, Todd uses it to become the cool version of himself, Toad. Who's Todd? My name's Toad. Toad Chevey. Toad basically has the coolest day of his entire life, though the moment Bojack sees his new attitude, he criticizes him, knocking Toad back down to Earth and into Todd again. After Diane's birthday party that year, which ended in a big fight, Todd leaves with Princess Carolyn. While PC goes up to her apartment, Todd is left with her phone and his own phone, which, due to a software error, both develop sentience and fall in love. When the phones update, they lose sentience and revert to normal phones. Tragic. Oh. This is too much. Later that year, a chicken for days truck filled with chickens that were meant to be slaughtered crashes. One chicken escaped and found its way over to Mr. Peanut Butter's house and started another wacky Todd adventure. Todd spends the day with Diane trying to save Becca, the chicken, from being sent back to the slaughterhouse and killed. They take Becca to a smaller, more quote-unquote humane farm, but quickly change their minds and break her out. They're arrested by the police for their crimes, but Bojack's fame gets them out of the jam. Shortly after this, PB Livin goes bankrupt because of Todd and Mr. Peanut Butter's ill-advised business schemes, forcing 
bringing PB back to work and Todd back into the world. And very quickly, Todd got himself into one of his most ridiculous hijinks yet, switching places with Prince Gustav of war-torn Cordovia. While running the country, Todd gives away Prince Gustav's fortune and causes an economic collapse. After returning to his real life, Todd takes an assistant position on J.D. Salinger's Hollywood Stars and Celebrities, What Do They Know, Do They Know Things, Let's Find Out. He has a rivalry with fellow assistant Mia McKibben in winning J.D. Salinger's favor, which he obviously loses. Shortly after this, Todd finds himself engulfed in the world of improv comedy, joining an improv team at Shenanigags, where he actually does quite well for himself. Oh shit, Todd's in a cult. He invites Bojack to his next improv show, but Bojack doesn't show up. Todd's success in improv earns him an invite to the comedy cruise line or the giggle ship by the owner of Shenanigags, Copernicus. Before he leaves for the cruise liner, Todd has a particularly sad conversation with Bojack about their friendship. We had some good times though, right? Did we? Right. But on the giggle ship, it quickly becomes clear that this really was a cult that is exploiting its members. Fortunately, Bojack boards the ship and manages to rescue Todd while exposing Copernicus as a fraud. Bojack connects with Todd over the first time they hung out together and reaffirms their friendship and the two escape. Later that year, Todd accidentally falls asleep in Bojack's luggage before a trip to New York, waking up in the hotel and promptly getting lost wandering the hallways. Back in Los Angeles, Todd and Mr. Peanut Butter upset a skunk and get sprayed in the process. They take a bath in tomato sauce at PC's suggestion, eliminating the skunk smell, but tracking tomato sauce all over Mr. Peanut Butter's house. Soon, the day of Secretariat's theatrical release would hit, and Todd wakes up Bojack out of excitement for his friend. The film is a rousing success, and the two of them hit the town to celebrate, going to the Hotel Kangaroosevelt for drinks. While there, Todd runs into his ex-girlfriend, Emily. While spending time with Emily, Todd brainstorms an app idea, a rideshare app for women that only has women drivers. Emily reaffirms that this is a really great idea, while also gauging if Todd is still single or not. So, do you think you're girlfriend would get jealous if we started this project together or oh god this is so embarrassing for you but i actually don't have a girlfriend todd and emily start to go back to a hotel room but todd becomes incredibly uncomfortable after emily propositions him and he decides to call it a night leaving emily confused but todd and emily continue their friendship even after this and actually start the business idea that todd had at the hotel cabra cadabra launches with its office space inside bojack's house todd and emily's friendship continues to blossom in this time and the two of them stay up late talking and laughing with each other most evenings, despite something seeming to bother Emily the entire time they're at Bojack's. Eventually, Emily becomes so uncomfortable that she tells Todd he should run the company without her. Emily hints that the reason she's leaving has to do with Bojack and leaves. Todd lets Emily keep her shares of the company. After Cabra Cadabra's success, Todd decides it's time to expand the customer base to include men, even though this contradicts the entire point of the app. After this is a success, they notice that the drivers are starting to feel uncomfortable because the men are rating them based on looks. So they they obliviously decide to start hiring new, more attractive drivers. They bring in the orca dancers from Whale World to drive the cabs. This moves us into 2016. Todd's company is a huge success and they're moving into a new office building. While hanging with Mr. Peanut Butter, who has been hired to present the Oscar nominees, PB goes on a wild goose chase to get his phone back and loses the envelope with all of the selected nominees in the process. This leads to Todd and Mr. Peanut Butter creating a completely new list of Oscar nominees from scratch. This then leads to many false nominees nominees being listed, including BoJack Horseman. BoJack Horseman for Secretariat. The next morning, Todd stops by Bojack's house to find a sad and lonely Bojack, and Bojack begs Todd to stay with him, claiming Todd owes him for everything he's done for him. Bojack then reveals that he slept with Emily that night at the Hotel Kangaroosevelt, much to Todd's shock. You had sex with Emily? Todd angrily tells Bojack off as Bojack attempts to apologize, telling him to stop making excuses, that it isn't his parents or the bad things that happened to him, he is the problem. You are all the things that are wrong with you. A little over a month later, Mr. Peanut Butter sells Cabra and Todd receives $8 million for his stake in the company. He meets up with Emily to talk about their newfound riches and success. During this conversation, Emily asks Todd if he's gay. This isn't the 1600s or some places in the present. Todd says he doesn't think he's gay, but he doesn't think he's straight either, and that he thinks he's nothing, showing that Todd is really grappling with his sexual identity. When the two of them get the bill, Todd realizes he accidentally tipped the waitress his entire $8 million fortune and laughs it off, broke once again. In October that year, Todd Todd meets up with Emily again to catch up, and Emily refers to Todd as asexual, to which Todd feels deeply uncomfortable. But I want a boyfriend. 
who isn't asexual. Whoa, what, why did you call me that? Todd also expresses that if he still had his money, he would have built a drone throne, a drone that he can sit on while flying through the sky. Sometime after this, Todd joins a massive orchestra in Los Angeles as their new triangle player. He also saved a lion from drowning in a shipwreck, delivered her baby, and circumcised it as they rode to safety on a helicopter ladder. In 2017, Todd receives a gift from Emily, his drone throne. Unfortunately, he immediately drops the remote, trapping him on the drone with a giant bag of kettle corn. After flying across California on the drone, Todd accidentally falls into the middle of Mr. Peanut Butter and Woodchuck Kuchuk Berkowitz's ski race for the governorship of California, accidentally winning the race in the process and becoming the governor. In his victory speech, Todd immediately resigns from office, forcing a special election. You'd like to resign? Yeah, I'm just really not into labels right now. Shortly after this incident, Todd has one of the craziest days of his life, all while still working as a member of the orchestra. Todd is helping Mr. Peanut Butter while he runs for governor, secretly giving him his pills and a piece of cheese and making breakfast. Todd then refuses to sign Mr. Peanut Butter's name when a package arrives, preventing PV from getting his fracking research. Princess Carolyn then asks Todd to go on a date with movie star Courtney Portnoy, to which Todd reluctantly agrees. After this, Katrina tells Todd to always sign Mr. Peanut Butter's name because of the fracking research debacle, and he then signs a pro-fracking letter for Mr. Peanut Butter, making PB a pro-fracking candidate. Right after this, Todd is chloroformed by a young horse named Hollyhock, who is searching for Bojack Horseman, who she thinks is her biological father. People always said I looked like Bojack Horseman. That's a terrible thing to say to a baby. They talk about Bojack, and then she chloroforms him again, bringing him to Bojack's house. Todd pretends Hollyhock is Bojack's new maid and also gets some of Bojack's DNA to see if he and Hollyhock are related. Bojack is not pleased with Hollyhock's services as a maid, so Todd proceeds to clean Bojack's entire house himself. Soon the news that Mr. Peanut Butter is pro-fracking breaks, and so Todd is forced to prevent Diane from hearing this news with distractions. In the process, he lies to Diane about a story involving Channing Tatum and an illegitimate daughter, trying to prevent her from learning about Bojack's situation, but getting her to test the DNA for him. Todd goes to meet Courtney Portnoy at a Shark Jacobs fashion show, accidentally stumbling onto the runway and creating a massive new fashion trend in the process. PC gets angry that Todd never gets a photo with Courtney, as it was all for publicity. It turns out Bojack and Hollyhock's DNA match, but Diane thinks it's Channing Tatum, so she goes to his house. Todd initially tells Hollyhock the DNA is not a match, and then pretends to be Channing Tatum and talks to Diane through Channing Tatum's door. Hollyhock figures out that she is related to Bojack and leaves. Todd then meets with Courtney and finally gets a photo and she tells the press that they're engaged, which confuses Todd. Next, Todd tells Bojack that Hollyhock is his daughter. Bojack takes this time to tell Todd that he appreciates him and Todd opens up to Bojack about being asexual, verbalizing it for the very first time. This is a big moment for Todd, but he also isn't ready to be friends with Bojack again and he leaves instead of staying with Bojack, learning that he needs to do things for himself. Well, if you ever need a place to crash that couch- I'm gonna go. Oh right now. Then, instead of going to play the triangle with the orchestra that night, he actually goes to an asexual meetup, finally doing something for him. Hmm, good for him. Wow, that's an insane day. After a mass shooting, the film studio in charge of Courtney Portnoy's new film, Mistaken, brainstorms how to combat the bad press. Todd suggests creating the right pumped up kicks to outrun the bullets. After this debacle, Todd and Courtney meet with Princess Carolyn, and Courtney rehires Rutabaga Rabidowicz, who suggests that Todd and Courtney get married immediately. Todd is uncomfortable with this, but agrees to a sham wedding with a big payout after a few years. Todd talks to the folks in his asexual meetup group about the marriage, and they explain to him that many aces can have romance without sex being involved, which surprises and enlightens Todd. Todd. Todd then decides to end the sham marriage arrangement. I can't marry Courtney. What? Oh! During a brief dinner for Mr. Peanut Butter, his house collapses underground due to the fracking in his yard. Todd and Princess Carolyn are separated from the remainder of the party and end up running into an ant colony. They help mediate a negotiation with the ants to allow for the house to be returned to the surface, which is successful. Shortly after this, Mr. Peanut Butter ends his race for governor and starts up PB Living again. He and Todd start pitching ideas to their lawyer, and Todd pitches clown dentists. They start to work on this clown dentist project project and run the operation out of Princess Carolyn's apartment. Unfortunately, this operation is then put under investigation by the Better Business Bureau, with an axolotl named Yolanda in charge of the investigation. Todd is forced to put on a clown stravaganza to save his business. He prepares for this show with his clown dentist and Princess Carolyn, but first the Clintists help PC get to Parent Mount Studios for an important meeting. One week later, they put on the show and Yolanda hates it, ending the clown dentist business once and for all. I must recommend that you dissolve this venture immediately. Todd releases the clown dentist into the woods by the abandoned Zane Asylum and elementary school. After Princess Carolyn has a breakdown, Todd brings her into the woods to give her a get your shit together speech and gives PC some shockingly great advice about her life and career. The woods are dark and scary, but the only way out is through. 
Unfortunately, they're quickly assaulted by the clown dentists and have to escape the woods. The clown dentists now have rabies from raccoons, and Todd calls Yolanda to help him solve the problem. They fail and also have to run away to escape the rabid clown dentist, which leads to Todd's brand new exercise business idea. Run for your life, escape the rabid clown dentists. Yolanda deems the business better, and then asks Todd on a date, revealing that she too is asexual. In 2018, Todd is now dating Yolanda, who seems to take issue with his lack of direction and employment. What are you gonna do while I I am at work all day. While out to dinner with Emily and her new boyfriend, Todd thinks of an idea for an asexual dating app, which causes some friction in his relationship with Yolanda. But without it, asexual romantics might end up settling for just whatever other asexual romantics they might meet, even if they have nothing else in common. Todd asks Bojack to help him find a job, and he sets him up with an interview for a janitor position at whattimeisitrightnow.com, the website and streaming service that is producing Bojack's new TV series, Filbert. During the interview, it is quickly clear how overqualified Todd is for the job, given his ridiculous employment history. Todd is given the job of president of ad sales for the entire company, giving him access to a massive office and assistant. Soon after this, Todd goes with Yolanda to visit her family, who she has yet to tell that she's asexual. Unfortunately, they are a very sexual family, so keeping this a secret is tough. The family wants the couple to make love in their house. After Yolanda's mother and twin sister try to seduce him, Todd accidentally reveals that he's asexual, while Yolanda's father plans to give them a barrel of aged family lube. This all results in a wild family fight, spill the lube, and a slippery Todd gliding gently out of the house. As it turns out, the family was very accepting of Yolanda's asexuality, but Todd took issue with the fact that Yolanda lied about Todd going to college to make him sound impressive. Realizing the only thing they have in common is asexuality, the two of them break up. The only thing we have in common is that we're asexual. Later, Mr. Peanut Butter asks Todd how to be tough, so he takes him to the roughest bar in Hollywood. Mr. Peanut Butter's attempts to rough up some paparazzi actually ends up helping them. No more clicking. You fixed my TMJ, which means no more wearing a night guard to bed. Now in charge of Philbert because of his position at whattimeisitrightnow.com, Todd has to come down hard on Princess Carolyn about the budget of the series. Later, an accident leaves Bojack injured on set, of which Todd and forms PC. Eventually, Todd and Princess Carolyn get in a huge ongoing fight surrounding a piece of string cheese that Todd says was his, which prevents him from signing a contract allowing her an office on the set of Filbert. The two go to a mediator to solve the dilemma. PC ends up lying about eating the string cheese to avoid further conflict, but also claims she should be allowed to eat it, sending the argument to arbitration. The two continue to argue and set boundaries at PC's apartment where they're both living. Eventually, the two work it out, and when Todd reaches for his pen to sign the agreement, he finds his string cheese. On Hollywood 2018, Todd goes back to Bojack's Halloween party and blocks in Diane's car with his company car. He then lets Diane take the car for a ride. Shortly after this, Todd is visited by Emily at work and they bond over their recent breakups. Emily reveals that she created the dating app that Todd suggested, an asexual dating app called All About That Ace. She also tells him that he was the best boyfriend she ever had and that she's sad that they can't have sex. Todd asks Diane for advice about Emily, which gives him one of his most insane ideas ever. He creates a sex robot named Henry Fondle to present to Emily, which does not go well. I'm not sure you understand how sex works. Henry Fondle then ends up setting the floor on fire. Todd and Emily lament the fact that they seem incompatible and seemingly break it off once and for all. Todd goes to get rid of Henry Fondle, but he says, let's get down to business. So Todd brings him to work with him. Miraculously, Henry Fondle gets himself a job at whattimeisrightnow.com from the CEO himself. Henry Fondle then renews Filbert for a second season. As Filbert releases, Todd panics, realizing he was supposed to sell ads for the show, but forgot, and offers to sell $30 million worth of ads as quickly as possible. After a horrendous incident on the set of Filbert where Bojack strangled his co-star Gina, Todd questions why production stopped. Todd then tries to pull the plug on production entirely, but PC ends up stopping him. Now can you give me a chance to get everything under control? Yes, yes, yes! After Henry Fondle is fired for sexual harassment, Todd takes him out to a field and kills him, disabling the robot forever. He quickly takes off his work suit and returns to his normal clothes. In 2019, Todd begins to help Princess Carolyn take care of her adopted daughter, who at first had not been named. He causes some major confusion around Hollywood by calling her Untitled Princess Carolyn Project, leading to the creation of Birthday Dad. Later, Todd plans a surprise wedding for Mr. Peanut Butter and his fiance Pickles, but right before they surprise the couple, the couple breaks up. Todd helps Princess Carolyn track down Ruthie as they try to hide from PB and Pickles, making Princess Carolyn realize that Todd is really good with kids. She then hires Todd to be her nanny. Somehow, Todd hires 12 assistants to help him with his normal Todd duties while he nannies for Ruthie. Soon after this, Todd's stepfather Jorge comes to visit him and tells him that his mother is in the hospital 
hospital and needs a kidney transplant. Unfortunately, Todd sold one of his kidneys to buy sock puppets. The two go to get his kidney back, only to discover that it's been purchased by the White Whale Corporation and is now in Chicago. Todd then knocks out Jorge and weakened at Bernie's his body on a plane and to Chicago so that they can retrieve the kidney. Todd fails to get into the White Whale building with Diane's keycard, but then Jorge pretends to be a custodian and gets them into the warehouse. The two have a discussion and argument about whether or not Todd wants him and his mother in his life. Todd laments that his mother hasn't bothered to call him in 10 years. I want to know that you're okay. And why haven't you called in 10 years? You don't think I wanted to? Soon a security guard thinks that Jorge is attacking Todd and tries to stop him, but Todd explains that they're stealing a kidney and he actually just lets them go with the kidney. They take the kidney to the hospital. While there, Jorge reveals that he was hard on Todd to prepare him for the tough world ahead of him, but realizes he was mistaken that he needed to do this because Todd is white and had a very different life than he did. Todd leaves the hospital without saying hello to his mother, but tells Jorge she has his number. Shortly after this, Todd tries to open up to Bojack about his mother at the Silver Spoon Diner, but Bojack doesn't pay much attention. Moms are weird, right? Um, yeah, moms are weird. He also tells Bojack about his asexual dating app. Shortly after this, Todd is very close to calling his mother when he gets a match on All About That Ace, a bunny named Maud. The two of them start dating sometime after this. In May 2020, Todd goes with Princess Carolyn and Ruthie to watch the student performance of Bojack's first ever Wesleyan drama class. While on campus, Todd stumbles into a social experiment where some students put a marshmallow in front of Ruthie and tell him if she doesn't eat it, she'll get a bigger reward. Todd then calls his girlfriend Maud, who tells him to eat the marshmallow. Todd does and starts to panic about the ramifications of this action, so he then recruits a chemistry student to help create a new marshmallow. When Todd brings that marshmallow back, the students call him out and tell him that they know he ate the marshmallow. When Todd reveals his chemistry concocted marshmallow, a man bursts into the room, claiming his name is Willie Wesleyan and that Todd has won the school. Very Willy Wonka. This is revealed to be a man taking part in an LSD case study next door. After the performance, Todd finds Bojack having a panic attack outside the theater. Bojack reveals details of an incident that took place in New Mexico in 2015 and that reporters are asking questions about it, though Diane thinks that they must be searching for something bigger. Bojack, Diane, PC, and Todd all start to brainstorm all of the bad things Bojack has ever done to figure out what the story is about. After Bojack has a bit of a meltdown, Todd tells him that he maybe hasn't changed and that he's acting like the old Bojack. He then leaves to put Ruthie to bed. I need to go put Ruthie to bed. Call me when new Bojack's back. Bojack eventually learns that this new story is about his role in Sarah Lynn's death in 2016 and schedules a TV interview with Biscuits Braxby to talk about it. The day of the interview, Todd asks Bojack if he's ready for it, before asking Princess Carolyn if he can have a night off to go on a date with Maud that week. While on the date with Maud at her parents' house, Maud asks Todd if he wants to watch the second Bojack interview, which sends him into a bit of a reflective moment. That guy was my best friend for like five years, but not because we have anything in common, I just landed at his house one night. Ultimately, the two of them decide they should move in together. Not long after this, Todd and Maude move into their new apartment together. Todd decides not to invite Bojack to their housewarming because of his new reputation after that second interview. They have a great party with tons of friends, though Bojack does show up uninvited, forcing Todd to ask him to leave. I'll see you around. During the party, Jorge calls Todd to tell him that he and his mother will not be attending. Not long after this, Todd and Maude go to have dinner with Jorge and Todd's mother, Helen, but Helen refuses to come down to eat with them. Jorge says that Helen feels embarrassed that Todd donated his kidney to her. Todd concocts an insane plan so that his mother can pay him back, hiring character actress Margot Martindale to kidnap Todd, who agrees because she feels guilty about helping get him re-addicted to Decapathon back in 2014. Helen comes to save Todd from Margot, but has a panic attack where Todd reveals it was all a classic Todd shenanigan. Helen has to go back to the hospital hospital for her anxiety attack, but the pair of them then make up, and Helen finally apologizes to Todd. I'm so sorry. Shortly after this, Bojack is sent to prison for breaking and entering into his old house, and he's sentenced to 14 months. Near the end of his prison term in 2021, Bojack is released from prison for a day to attend Princess Carolyn's wedding. While at the wedding, Todd pulls Bojack aside because he looks overwhelmed, and brings him down to the beach to watch fireworks and talk. The pair of them discuss a lot of things. Bojack expresses his fears that he'll relapse after prison, and Todd talks about his new relationship with his mother. Todd relates Bojack's struggles to the Hokey Pokey. You do the Hokey Pokey and you turn yourself around. You turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. The two of them stand on the beach looking out at the ocean. And that's where Todd Chavez's story as we know it ends. Todd is without a doubt the character who did the most in Bojack Horseman. It's hard to describe just how many shenanigans he got into or how many jobs he had. But we can try. He wrote a rock opera, was senior vice president of West Coast Operations at PB Livin, intern on Hollywood stars and celebrities, what do they know, do they know things, let's find out. Inducted into an improv cult, owned a successful rideshare app, made $8 million, gave it away, played triangle for an orchestra, briefly became governor of California, started a company of clown dentistry, became president of ad sales at whattimeisitrightnow.com. All right, Todd, but 
Damn, man, you've accomplished a lot, and you did it all without losing sight of yourself. In fact, through it, you actually found yourself and became a more confident person who knows what's important to him. Todd might not be the deepest character in BoJack Horseman, but he's definitely one of the best people. And for that, we celebrate him. Folks, thanks so much for tuning into another BoJack timeline. Hey, this one was more fun than the last ones, wasn't it? Long, but fun. Let me know what timelines you want to hear next and stay tuned. Peace. Johnny! Two challenge.